Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Welcome sa ating YouTube channel. So, for today's video, continue natin yung ating discussion about factoring techniques. So, for third video, ang target natin ngayon ay puntahan kung paano mag-factor ng perfect square trinomials. Since ang topic natin today is factoring perfect square trinomials, kailangan malaman muna natin saan ba nang galing ang isang perfect square trinomial. So, actually, ang isang perfect square trin trinomial is from the square of a binomial. Example, let's take a plus b as our binomial. And then, square natin to. Alam natin, we can write a plus b raised to 2 as a plus b times a plus b. Katulad ng sinabi ko, yung perfect square trinomial is the product of two binomials or kapag in square natin ng binomials. So with the use of FOIL method, we can get the product of these binomials. Your a times a is equal to a squared. Yung a times b mo ngayon is equal to positive ab. Your b times a is also equal to ab. Your b times b is equal to positive b squared. So, simplifying these terms, since common yung term natin dito, you have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Ito ngayon isang example ng isang perfect square trinomial. Para sa ating factoring perfect square trinomials, ito yung magagamitin natin pattern. So, kapag naka-encounter ka ng ganitong klaseng trinomial, their factors is simply equal to the quantity of a plus b squared. And then kapag naka-encounter ka ng ganitong polynomial, trinomial or perfect square trinomial, their factor is also equal to a minus b raised to 2. So without further ado, let's start with example number 1. So using this pattern, explain ko lang yung pattern natin. This pattern, so anong pinagkaibin nila? Ang titignan mo lang muna yung kanyang middle term. If this is positive, you will be using this kind of answer. If this is negative, yung middle term yung pinag-uusapan natin or second term. Yung sagot mo or yung pattern na gagamitin mo ito. So let's start with example number 1. In example number 1, we have x squared plus 14x plus 49. So, paano ba natin malalaman whether the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial? Yung iba dito ang ginagawa nila, they are, they are um, checking... If the first terms and second terms, if the first term and the last term are both perfect squares. Pero hindi lang yun. Check muna natin ha. Uh, the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 9 is 7. So, dyan ba masabi natin perfect square trinomial yung ating given? Hindi. Kailangan nyo munang gawin is to check if kaya ba natin ma-attain or ma-achieve yung 14x sa second term. So, paano ba? You have your x, i-multiply mo lang siya sa 7, the answer is 7x. And then, the product of the square root of the first term and second term, multiplied by 2, the answer is 14x. Kapag ganyan yung nangyari, automatic, the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. So, nakuha niyo po ba? So, balikan lang natin. Since, Yung ating given is x squared minus a uh, plus 14x plus 49. At yung middle term natin ay positive, we will be using the first pattern. So, to have that answer, ang answer natin dito is prepare lang tayo ng parenthesis. Na ganito. And then get the square root of the first term, which is x. And then since positive to, you will be using positive sign here. And then, the square root of 49 is 7, and then squared. Another way on how to represent the answer is by this kind of way. We can factor out that. You have x plus 7 times x plus 7. Parehas lang naman yan. So, let's go with item number 2. So, item number 2, we have x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, check muna natin. Kailangan perfect square at perfect square. The square root of x squared is x, and 36 is a perfect square, and the square root is 6. Check natin kung makakuha ba yung 12x. 
x times 6 is 6x times 2, it will give you 12x. So, number 2 is definitely an example of perfect square trinomial. So, what is the answer? So, we will be using the first pattern again. Parenthesis muna tayo dito. And then, the square root of x squared is x. And then, 6, the middle term is positive. We will be using plus sign and then squared. Another representation of the answer is that we have x plus 6 times x plus 6. That's it for items number 1 and number 2. So let's go with some other examples na medyo complicated. So dito, as you can see, yung ating third example ay meron ng coefficient yung first term. But don't worry. Ang kailangan natin malaman kung ito ba isang perfect square trinomial. In 25x squared is a perfect square is a perfect square so the squared is 5x check natin yung 36 natin is 6 so i-multiply natin 5x times 6 that is 30 lipat lang natin yung solution natin dito so this is 5x and this is 6 so try natin 5x times 6, it will give you 30x. And then, their product should be multiplied by 2. And then, there you have it. You have your 60x. So, gamitin natin pattern since positive. We will be using the first pattern. So, this is 5x plus 6 squared. Or we can use this kind of pattern. 5x plus 6 times 5x plus 6. So, yun yung sagot natin. Pwede naman to. So, okay na tayo sa number 3. Let's go with item number 4. So, sa number 4 natin, we have 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. Yung first term natin is a perfect square. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. Itong 1 definitely, that is a perfect square. So, we have here 1. And then, Try natin. Um, we, when we multiply 3x, so you have 3 times 1. Uh, 3x times 1 is 3x times 2. So you have your 6x. Since negative you adding sign, we will be using the pattern, the second pattern. Ang pinakaiba lang naman nila is ano, negative yung sign sa, prod, sa factor niya. So, punta natin number 4. Balik natin. So, we have here equals to quantity of 3x para sa first term minus, kasi nga negative yung ating second term, 1 raised to 2. So, yun yung sagot natin. Okay? So, let's go with item number 5. Sa item number 5 natin, don't be confused about this one kasi ang kailangan natin malaman whether the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. Yes sir, napakaraming terms niya. No, this one is actually a trinomial. So dito, since we have the grouping symbol, this is a single term. Ito ay single term lang din. So, when we count it, 1, 2, and 3. Check natin. Yung first term natin is a perfect square trinomial. It's a perfect square. So, ang square root nito ay x plus y. Nakasunod po ba? And then, ang um, square root naman ng 36 ay 6. Since yung ating middle term or second term is positive, we will be using a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared. So, same pattern lang. Yung first term natin, yung square root of first term natin ay ito. X plus Y. So, we have here, we have here the quantity of X plus Y. And then, since positive siya, maglagay tayo ng plus. And then, yung ating last term, ang kanyang square root ay 6. So, 6. This is it. Or, pwede natin siyang i-represent as the quantity of 
x plus y plus 6 raised to 2. Yan yung mga possible answers natin or factors for number 5. So if you have any question about this topic, you can comment down below. And please do share this kind of video para marami pang ma-reach out yung ating video at marami matutulungan ng bata in terms of their studies and struggles in mathematics. And again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat sa inyong support. Bye-bye!